Hello everybody, here is Andrea Lanusi from Embarcadero. I'm here today to explain how you configure your Delphi 2010 IDE to look like the same Delphi 7. Um, here is the default layout of Rad Studio 2010. Delphi and C++ Builder 2010 is part of the Rad Studio. And we have here one sample project. I opened this sample project and we have the, the layout completely embedded. Okay. Uh, to start the change of this layout for uh, to, to work like Delphi 7, we just need, the first option we need to change is the embedded designer. Then we just press F6, we have here the ID inside, we just type embedded designer, uncheck the option embedded designer, the IDE requires uh, rest, the restart to take uh, effect the next time, okay. Then we just press OK, close the ID, start again, and here is my Rad Studio 2010 ID restarting. And now, when I open my project, my sample project, I have the, the form designer not embedded, okay? It's completely flawed. Now we have to change the designer to work in, in the way Delphi 7 work, it means we have the windows completely floating on the ID. Uh, let's change the, lay, the, the layout for classic and docket. Okay. Um, here we go. We have the source code here, the structure pin here, the object inspector here. Uh, the tool palette in Delphi 7 is not here. We have the component toolbar in the top. Then let's close this tool palette because we're not, we don't want to use this tool palette. Uh, in this case, let's active the option component here. You just right click in the main toolbar. And here we go. Here we have the component toolbar with some new features like the, the filter, filter search box. You just type here label and the IDE is going to filter all components with the name label. This is one of cool features we have. Uh, um, Delphi in Delphi 2010. Also, we have the project manager and you don't want to use the project manager, but honestly, I recommend you to use the project manager, okay? Uh, in this case, you don't want to keep three windows open. You want the most uh, similar design in Delphi 7. For this case, we just need to do one thing. You just drag and drop the structure panel here, okay? And then you move here, do a little resize, um, the object inspector, as you can see here, is uh, showing the options by categories, and you don't want that. You want to arrange by name. Okay, let's change this option by name. And here we have pretty much the Delphi 7 layout. And if you want to all the time keep this, uh, this layout, you want to save this configuration, you just come here in the uh, Save Current Desktop. Let's change the name here for Delphi 7 layout. And that's it. You, let's close the welcome page because you don't want the welcome page in this case too. And here we go. Here we have the Delphi 7 layout and the uh, Delphi 2010 plus the search box here for the component toolbar, the project manager to help you to navigate to the project and change some configurations if you wanna. The modeling option because now uh, uh, since uh, Delphi 2006, uh, we have the modeling in, in Delphi and the Data Explorer that help you to work with a database. Very simple, very easy, and you have the same layout the, the, from Delphi 7 in Delphi 2010. Hope you enjoyed this video, and if you want more information about uh, Delphi 2010, just go to our website, www.embarcadero.com or in our blog, blogs.embarcadero.com where you can see a lot of technical information, a lot of posts about Delphi, C++, or in Rad Studio in general. Thank you very much. See you next time.